Welcome back, everybody. It's the Funnel Crossover. Mike and Mike still here. We got our special guest. Let's talk about one of the biggest tournaments that happens in Labor Day. There's three big tournaments, or even four. I don't even know how, much, how many there are. But the thing is, when you're at Labor Day, when you have your own team, it's going to be a challenge. There's different teams that you have to face. So let's talk about your experience there with FELAC. How did you guys prepare for that Labor Day tournament? Well, yeah, shout out. First of all, this. Um I don't know, so I feel a bit of pride playing with Pimna because, you know, it's the first original, like, Labor Day tournament. Mm -hmm. Like you said, now there's, like, m more than big three. There's, like, like yeah, there's, yeah, there's, yeah, yeah, there's everyone. But, like, Lighters. I just, like, I feel good to play in, like, the original one. Mm. But, yeah, yeah, we've been, we've been playing in that pretty much since we are like, 11 yeah. under, 13 under, 15 now. Yeah. Now we're all going open. Mm -hmm. like, we didn't start winning until we were open, but, like, now, pretty good, yeah. How did you guys choose your team, like, in terms of... Because usually you mentioned sometimes you have a couple of players that are staying, a couple of different players that you are uh, taking from. Like, uh, how did you guys pick your team in terms of? Well, for the most part, our like most of our guys, like these, are the, whoever's just been playing with us since we were kids, mm -hmm. they just stayed. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, sometimes a guy has work. Like recently, some of our vets they're getting married, and so and they have everyone has as we get older, everyone has their own commitments and stuff. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, our core stays. So like when we need, we just like hey, you have a friend? Oh yeah, take my friend just now or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What was your strategy and or what, what who's your biggest competitor there when you were going or your challenger well, that you like, knew? New York. Uh, yeah, New York. I would say it changed yeah. throughout the years though. Like yeah, it changed yeah. throughout the years. When we were like, older, because like it would be like Jacksonville, Maryland when we were like you know the, like 17 news, 15 mm -hmm. news, and, and then it would change up like you know as those guys got older because we have a lot of like guys that play Division One basketball from Pibna alone. Like for example, Chris Clark, like mm -hmm. um, he plays out of Virginia. Mm -hmm. um, he Virginia Tech actually. He like he played against us and then, like guys like Shaggy Ahmed who are playing at Ateneo. So like 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 as those guys progressed, like their teams kind of got weaker mm -hmm. because like their main guys left, right? But then mm -hmm. we just kept our guys together for that tournament and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So well, our, our main enemy was New York. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this this year there, there were a lot of this good teams here. All the games yeah. were close. Mm -hmm. But New York, they had two. They had two good teams. Actually, we faced one of their teams in the semifinals. Mm -hmm. It wasn't. A, it was a close game, and then we faced the other team in the semis. Also a close game. But yeah, New York. I knew coming in that was someone we had to watch out for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what was so hard about New York? I guess from your your angles, from playing, like what was so difficult about New York? They just had size on us. Mm -hmm. Like I was probably the biggest guy on the court, and I'm only six three, and mm -hmm. we're facing guys that are like six five, and like they're D's and everything, mm -hmm. and they can just collapse on boards. Like yeah, yeah like, like we had mismatches, right? Yeah. So that was just their size in general was mm -hmm. our problem, their problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and probably the physicality. Yeah, and also the fact that like. Whenever you play in the States, you know, the refs are going to be on the Americans. So, like, you know how sometimes you think that Americans are harder and stuff like that? But then we'd be, like, giving, like, soft ticky-tack fouls and we'd be getting called for those, exactly. you know? mm -hmm. But then we're getting bumped and everything. We don't get called for nothing, right? So, it, mm -hmm. like, home court advantage definitely plays a part in that. Mm -hmm. But in terms of, like, it's just the physicality, too, because they're, like, the guys over there have, like, four gym memberships, you know, like, L.A. <laughs> like, and we're out here just, like, you know, practicing on Saturdays. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's crazy. So, yeah. And then, uh, I guess, just an overview of your whole run in Pibna. So, talk about the scores. Like, was it an easy run to yeah. the championship? Or no, what, has, def, was every game, like... Talk about like, from the day, from yeah. the day, your no, first no. game. To like, Def yeah. Definitely not, because, yeah. um, we, like, like I said, we, had, we were short hand that tournament. We had eight guys, and then throughout the weekend, we had some... Pre we had injuries to a few guys, and then yeah. the finals, when we ended up playing with six guys. Mm -hmm. So, just, it was hard to keep everybody fresh. Yeah. And, yeah, just, like... Having having less bodies, especially like with the physicality Miko talked about, yeah. and like getting pounded every game, is just it was tough. Yeah. Talk to us, I guess, from the first. Talk to us a little bit about all the games that you guys played. So like from the start, I guess, the Friday to the Saturday. How was the games for you guys? Like, how did you guys? Did you win win the first game? Did you win the second game? We faced Jacksonville first. Yeah. 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 And then we faced Chicago. Um, Glendale Heights. Glendale. And they had they had a team in what Naba, but then they came to Pibna, yeah. and like, they were one of the. So they what, played like, both. No, 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 they no, had no, a team no. before. before oh, they were yeah. in Naba. Yeah, yeah. And then they, this year they decided to be in like, Pibna as, as the guest right? team because like, it was yeah. closer. And they, were, and they said they were. Well, you told me that they were one of the best teams in Naba before. I didn't say that, but someone else. But I don't know. Someone, someone, someone said that, but no, but like sources. They're pretty good sources. I wouldn't. I wouldn't doubt it because yeah, they had they had real solid guys. So I guess. Uh, from your, your point of view, what was your favorite game that you played? We'll go for each of you. What was the favorite game that, that you had in Pibna? Honestly, I, it wasn't even open because I was also coaching the 18 oh, news. You, you going to stay there in front of them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, my game was even yeah. open too. Yeah. Yeah. Mine was 5'10. Uh, <laughs> yeah, for, for the 18 yeah. we we won our semifinals in overtime. Mm -hmm. And like, it, was, it, was, it was just a good game. Yeah. Yeah. We almost had a heartbreaking buzzer beat at the end, but like the guy missed it. I'm just, I just like I pray to God every day. Thank you for <laughs> <laughs> every day. Thank you for missing Lord. 
Yeah. Mika, okay. what was your favorite game? Uh, it had to be the 5 10 game, to be honest. Like, yeah. It was a championship game. It was uh, New York against um, Toronto. We usually have like, like, you know, like a rivalry between New York and Toronto for like any division, yeah, to nice. be honest. So then we we're up by 20, and then there's three minutes left, you know. And then I know I don't know if you guys are familiar with uh, Jr. He's a big dude, played 25 for life. You know, shout out Jr. Oh, yeah, no, he's no. great, guy, great yeah. dude. Like you know, quick on defense and all that. Yeah. It's crazy. But man pushed him, and then bench just cleared. <laughs> bench cleared. Yeah. We all got there. Ran on the court. Mom's running on the iPad like stop, stop. Oh. You know, it's crazy. So there's a fight. Yeah, there's a fight. So you like the fight more than the <laughs> No, but because we won, but we beat New York. Yeah, you know? yeah. By like that much, and they just couldn't do anything. It was a three P two. Yeah. We won the tournament oh. three years in a row. For that, yeah, wow. we beat Hamilton first, Jacksonville. Not first Jacksonville, then Hamilton. Yeah. And then three peated with that. Oof. Ended up with a fight. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> oh, and Noah, what was your favorite game? I guess. Oh, um, our final game, to yeah. be honest. Mm -hmm. Sad to say that we lost, but like it was an intense game. Even though like the refs are calling some bad calls, but it was an intense game. It was a good game from both sides of the court. Like, yeah. mm -hmm. like they were just hitting our sh their shots. We were trying to put different defensive uh, defensive schemes on them, and like yeah, it was just an interesting game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To add on to the refs, like. Like whenever we go to these tournaments, like whether it's Pibnor or, or any other just out of town tournaments, like mm -hmm. I realize like Toronto has really good refs, like board refs, top mm -hmm. refs. Like we, we don't appreciate them enough, but like when when we go to Chicago, I'm like I'm losing my mind. Like I'm trying not, <laughs> I'm trying not, I'm trying not yeah. to get a technical. Yeah. But I'm like, yeah, it's just like wow, Toronto refs are really good when I when I think about it compared to the calls that happen in other places. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's tough. Yeah. And let's talk about last thing. Last thing let's talk about is I guess your games because I think. What's next for you guys? So I guess talk about like your plans and like your game. Yeah. Go ahead, Noah. <laughs> yeah, yeah we'll, we'll start from here because we'll get we'll end yeah, it with we'll Mark's perspective. Way, you know what yeah. 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 What do you guys have? Yeah, basketball. Playing, yeah. Basketball wise. Like, what are your plans and like how would you describe your game? Uh, well, my plans right now are to go to the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Right. At first, I was supposed to go to La Salle, and then things changed, and now I'm potentially going to go D League somewhere. I'm just finding my connections. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. my game. You can say I'm aggressive, like I'm a two-way player. Mm -hmm. Like I'm really going on defense. And what else can you say, Mark, about my game? <laughs> if you had to just like, hold the whole different, yeah, I will get one. If you have to name an NBA yeah. player that you can compare your boy, oh, I can't. Oh, I can't even compare. Well, my let's, let's get Mark to get to get. No, you. We'll, get Mark, he, we'll, we'll get Mark at the end. Miko, yeah. talk. Like, what's your plans and what's your, so your next your game? What's your like, game's like? Well, my yeah. game is like. <laughs> I'll talk. Oh, well, okay. So, you know like, what I'm saying? So, yeah. like, like, I'll like get in your, your, your head. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, it doesn't matter who you are, I'll get in your head. Like, mm -hmm. you know, it's facts. Yeah. So, I'll get in your head, like, you know, like, to the point where you want to punch me, and I'll be like, ha, got in your head. Yeah. Like, you know, but and, and I can shoot the ball too. But I'm a streaky shooter, you know, so it's like either going very well or it's going very bad. Yeah. Like, you know, you, you got to pick one, like, yeah. you know? Yeah. But. And what's next for you? And what's next for yeah. me is basically, I'm um, probably gonna head over to the Philippines, yeah. like probably in January, you know, for the vacation. Because <laughs> I told him, like, you know, like yeah. I'm just gonna go there to see my family and stuff like yeah. that, and then see how that goes. Probably be on the C team, D team, whatever. Yeah. Doesn't matter, <laughs> yeah. you know, just for the experience. experience yeah. yeah, and mm -hmm. then come back and you know continue educate my education over here and just continue with life. Nice. And Mark, and Mark, how would you describe their play since you've coached them? If well, you had to describe, yeah, like, describe an, NBA, an NBA player, a D-League well, player that you get. That's a tough one on the yeah. spot to think of because, yeah. like, I don't even, I don't, want, even, I don't even watch the NBA that much to be yeah. honest. Yeah. But, yeah, I think they described themselves pretty good. Like, Nico, yeah, great, great trash talker and great shooter. Like, whenever, whenever, <laughs> great trash talk, whenever like, coming out of a timeout, I yeah. usually draw a set for him, just get wide open three, and then, yeah. like, he hits it. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, Noah, he's just... Especially in the Filipino League when, like, guys are, like, all, like, six feet and under. Mm -hmm. Like, when you have a guy with no, like Noah who... Who can play one through five pretty much in Filipino basketball, and mm. they'll give us that guard skill set against other fives. It really helps out a lot. 